Was there? Was there something up there? Yeah. Yeah, there was some disturbance. Should we try trolling through here? Sure. Heck yeah. Might as well. I mean, it's just random. We we're just kind of shooting uh, in the dark here. But yeah, yeah, there was definitely something that hit the surface right there. What is? Uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome to uh, Winter Edition. My dad and I are here on the lake, and uh, we don't know what we're doing out here because it's the winter time. We generally don't know on this particular lake what we're doing in the summer either, but the winter's going to be hard in particular. Good thing about the winters, a lot of times you catch bigger fish. So that's what we're out here for. We're excited for it. And uh, we see a disturbance on the surface. So here's what we're going to do. We've got brand new. Oh, by the way, I'm here with me, ain't you? Check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description, an MRE channel. I just added these though. Actually, we both worked on these and added uh, some rod holders to our boat so that we could troll. Because last winter when we were out here, we did find a little bit of success trolling some baits. Um, just trolling. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to test out the brand new rod holders. They are adjustable. Look at this. You can just like stick them out to the side, stuff like that. So pretty cool. First rod holders we ever put on our boat. So let's get fishing. All right, guys, here is the situation. So we've got one rod out with a deep diving jerk bait another one out with a shallow runner both of their new rod holders that is pretty cool and then my dad is um he's running the trolling motor on the front and he's casting a rattle trap and then i'm going to keep an eye on these back here and i'm going to use this little oh he's all tangled up those little um what would you call this oh, got him, got him. you got one oh, oh, trout, trout, trout. Get oh big oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness Brownie. Yes! Whoa! Good knit! Nice job, Pops! <laughs> Guys, on a rattle trap. Look at I saw him coming to the boat. Right, right, it was, I was about ready to pull it out of the water, and he, I, I thought, oh, I'll drop it back down for you. Bam! You got it. That is cool. Very nice. Excellent. Oh, man, guys. What a way to start the day. <laughs> that that's a great eating size too. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not a giant, it's not a five or six pounder. It's uh, but it's not a little ten incher either. Wow, very nice pops. Right. All right, luckily we always have this uh, live well here. Wow, gorgeous brown trout. About I'd guess seventeen inches. I guess. Sweet! Mm -hmm. Bam! Alright, my friends. It's time for some vittles. First of all, we take out this piece and we set it right in the middle of our boat. If you're members, of course, you've seen this, but I don't think I've ever showed this on my main channel. By the way, if you guys want to check out members only videos, a lot of cool extra videos you can watch. Here's our table, our ancient table. Came with a boat in 2007 when it was brand new. It's kind of yellowed and uh, it's really taken a beating, but it works. All right, we have here an MRE, a Southwest style beef and black beans. Open up the waterproof bag. Mind if I, I don't mind at all. Ah, there. Uh, there's the main course beef and beans spiced apples Ooh, that good. Huh. vanilla pound cake shut up wow i got a really good one cheese spread man i'm jealous They're this jealous. is sweet tortilla uh, chipotle tortillas what? wow this is like totally mocha cappuccino no, Are you kidding me? I've never seen mocha cappuccino in an MRE. Weird. This is like the coolest beef snack. Wait. Kipper chopped, formed, stripped, and smoked. Kipper. Is this like beef jerky? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of small for the package. Look, a little piece of beef. Like a little piece of beef jerky. Interesting. And then the heat, the spoon, and the heater. Wow, that's a really cool emery. Sorry, I didn't mean to take over the whole oh, table. You can, I want to see so, what you've got. I did the um, creamy spinach fettuccine, which I like. Uh, Cracker. Crackers, my stove, 
bag for the warm juice. What did I get? Chocolate protein drink. I got cappuccino. I've never seen. I didn't even know cappuccino was a thing. Oh boy, one of those first strike oh, energy bars. Those are, those are lame, guys. If you want to check out my dad's MRE channel in the description. Honey mustard and onion pretzels. Those aren't bad. Those are actually really good. And here is the creamy spinach fettuccine. I don't. I don't care for the. And wait a minute. Spinach I fettuccine. Got peanut butter. Yes. Oh, peanut butter. Okay, yes, that's that's yes, pretty yes. cool. Should we pray real quick before yeah, we just take in? Thank you, Lord God, for this food. Thank you for the way you provide it. This beautiful day on the water. I just ask you to bless this food to our bodies now. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. I'm really excited about my MRE. Some of these new ones are, are lame. But, uh... What could be lame about something with 220 calories in it? Main menu. Yours has 220? That is lame. <laughs> that beef jerky is really good. Beef stick. Tried chipotle tortillas. That's good. Oh, interesting. They definitely look chipotle. Vanilla pound cake. Really excited about that. that I'm jealous. Wow. Seriously. Good crackers. You got the peanut butter. I got the cheese. Cheese spread. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I get any crackers? I got no crackers. So what am I supposed to do? Just like put this? I'm it not goes on your tortilla shell. Uh, it's Chipotle. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Chipotle. You like your peanut? That's your favorite thing is the peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Mm, the cheese spread is good. The, the, the um. Cheese spread good? Mm hmm It's just like Kraft. Right. Just like Mama used to buy. And the beef stick is a pleasant surprise. You mind if I try a little cheese? I don't mind. You sure can try some peanut butter. Mm, thank you. So I have a proposition for you, Pops. What if I took your trout? and I filleted it up right now, we cook it for dinner, and then we have some pieces as cut bait for, for striper, potentially Ooh. if we want to use that, if they're not Ooh. biting lures. That is a good idea. I'm gonna clean I the trout real quick. I've got a knife around here somewhere. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Yes, look at that. Skinny one. Pops, this is a skinny trout. Yeah, maybe. Good net, boy. Good net. Okay, I'm right, gonna knock him out real quick. Bring out our onboard cutting board. Right here. Trout is knocked out. You know, folks, I think I'm just gonna gut him nice and simple. I'll cut him into chunks, make it easy for him to cook. Let's see if there's anything in the guts. I don't. This was a skinny trout, and I don't see or feel anything in the guts. Wow. So this is the plan. I've got these two chunks here for cooking, and then we've got a couple pieces of kind of striper cut bait. Don't know if we'll use them, but we probably will. We probably will. Anyway, let's cook. Clear all this stuff away. You know, I am going to use, though, the moist towelette that came with MRE to wash my hands. There we go, get some of that fishy stuff off. Whip out the little portable catch and cook setup here. Buy them. <laughs> Coming through. Mm. Whoa. Bam! I haven't had brown trout in a long time for me, like probably since like Earlier this year, so it's like six months or so. Yeah, at least. You know, I'm definitely going to be ready for some meat. Yeah, that's it. That's thing. That's you know, even if it that is tasty, it's not going to fill up those military guys, mm -hmm. especially when you're out there working. I'd be mad as heck if I got one of those. Mm -hmm. A vegan MRE. Never heard of such a thing. Need meat. I just say, despite this being a quickie job, I think this trout is going to be exquisite. Be and I'm excited about the possibility of catching a big striper. Big old striper on a head or a tail. Let me take the lid off. Thank you. We're going to use salt from the MRE. Just kind of uh, thank you, sir. You want to put on the inside? Uh huh. Sprinkle some on the outside. Sprinkle some on the inside. This is a, a quickie boat job here, guys. No beautiful presentation or anything. Just simple. Just food. Just food. Mmm. 
Mm -mm, this is a fun day. It's nice because it's calm and kind of warm out here, so it's, it's not. For the winter time. Yeah, for the for the winter, it's all relative. Probably high 40s, to be my guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Feels a little warm. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Like that. Mm, that looks good. Yeah. There we go. Might catch something on that. Let's keep yeah. that below the boat. Guys, that's why we got the rod holder, so we could uh, do stuff like that without worrying about the rod flying over the edge. Alrighty. Oh, it looks like chili. This actually looks good. It looks just like chili. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember having any apples there. So. Yeah, I don't remember fr uh, yeah, spiced remember apples being in any yeah. MRE. This is really fun. Why are MRE so cool? As far as MREs go, on a scale of 1 to 10, this main dish, now I'm just comparing to other MREs, not like my mama's home cooking or her chili or anything, but I give this a 9 for sure. I'll uh, heat, heat some hot water up for your coffee in a second if you want. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. With a heavy piece of trout. There. Now the MRE is complete. I want to add the last piece. Would you like to try oh, some of your trout? I love some of this trout. Boy, so that looks some kind of good, doesn't it? Yeah. Diggity. Get a little bit of skin in there. Got skin in the game. <laughs> It's fun eating a hot meal on a oh, cold day, man. guys. Be outside mm. when it's cold. This is the way to do it. Doesn't get any fresh in that when you when you catch it, no. and then like this trout was alive less than ten minutes ago, guys. Oh, scrumptious. Scrumptious. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, time for coffee. Got my old canteen from when I was in the Marine Corps. Got this issued to me over forty years ago, and uh, so it's got the cover, which this. Uh, little apparatus here there's a belt you wear it's called a web belt and it slips in between and then you snap that down so you don't lose your canteen with the cover in it and then inside the pouch you've got your canteen but the cool thing is inside we also have our canteen cup with a handy dandy and that's metal. That's and that's money. <laughs> uh, you set it right on. Right on. There. Start it up here. Yeah, let's see here. I guess I should get that ready. I'm gonna. There we go. Yep, <laughs> that got her. Boy, that, yeah, uh, oh, yeah it's a... hell. All right. Yeah, it's burning off already. The water that was we'll in there. Put a little bit in there. I don't know how much for coffee. Probably about that much. And that's why this is black because out you used this a lot oh, back yeah. in the day. Yep, yep, yep. I used to think this was so cool when I was little here. We're gonna heat the apple sp um, spiced apple. Oh, it's oh wow! It's like uh -huh. it looks like Cracker Barrels um, oh, yeah. apple. What do they call yeah. it? Fried apples. Let me get that for you. Look at that! Oh yeah, man, you got some wow. stuff there. Heck yeah. This was a good MRE. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's, let's add our Bill's Brew freeze dried coffee here. That's nice. Yes. And the smell of coffee on, oh, a, man, cold on a cold day. day. Yes. And just the steaming. All right, shall I make some room for your apples? Sure. All right, let me go. See, this is the cool thing about that. I just, yes. Bam. The handles don't get hot. The handles don't get hot. Wow. Yep. They thought of everything. A little bit mm. pound cake over top. Mm -hmm. I won't do it all. I'll just do no, some just and some. you tell me what you think. Let's see, they're kind of. There we I, go. I don't have too much fish left on my hands, I don't think. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. We have so many immunities from fish now. Uh, bon Cheers, appetit. bon appetit. Oh, oh, that's nice. Warm fried apples. Mm. Yes, that's nice. Mm. I think it could use more cake, don't you think? Mm-hmm. And um, you're right with me throwing the whole thing in there. Um, the sure, thing. I guess. Um. I'll do it. Because it gets the sauce on it. They're yeah, so saucy. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It has this, you know, it's Christmas time. 
And it, with all that cinnamon, it has this Christmas mm, flavor to it. Christmas. This is very appropriate. Oh, that's good. What a fun meal. Mm -hmm. So me ancient and I fished hard the rest of the afternoon. We started out trolling, then dropped live bait down deep, then chased schools. We saw striper busting the surface periodically, but we just couldn't score a strike no matter what we tried. Fortunately, it was the weekend, so we decided to return the next day to see if we could get at least one of the monsters lurking in this lake to take a bait. All right, my friends, it is the next day, and uh, my dad and I are back out on the boat. Uh, conditions have changed considerably, uh, if you can tell. The wind has picked up, and we actually have a cold front just about to hit. We're a little bit confident, though, that that might turn the fishing on because sometimes fish go on an absolute feeding frenzy right before a cold front hits, and you can see by the weather. Um, this morning, it was bright, it was sunny, and it was warm, and right as we got to the lake, boom, it started to change. It started to get dark, started to get windy, so maybe something will happen. Look, here comes the rain. Oh my. Oh my. It's getting stormy. Stormy weather. Hmm. Do you stay out here and fish? Yeah, I might need to get the, my rain pants on. Oh, it's getting windy too. Oh my goodness, my friends. Rain pants. I got one. I got one. Guys, I got one. Sure. Guys, I got I got a big one. Whoa, I got a big one. Whoa. I got beef double hooks on this thing just for this kind of situation. Whoa, guys. This is what we were waiting for on the thousandth cast. I think you should stop now because he's now he's swimming to this side. Whoa. You see him? No, I don't. He's strip and drag. Strip and drag. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, it's giant. It's giant. Okay, nice and easy. Don't get in the motor. Are you walking around? Oh, Whoa. Oh. oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's huge! My word. Oh, Paul, he's not gonna fit in the net, you're gonna have to grab him. That's too big. It's too big to fit in the net, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Okay. We need a bigger net for sure. Nice and easy. Um Can you get him? Get him, Pops. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Whoa! Oh, heaven. Whoa. Nice landing job. You just scooped him up. He's, look, he's too big for the net. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is, whoa, oh my goodness. He's wore out, look at guys, look at that jerk bait. Down in there, look at it, he oh, just, yeah, he really just does. swallowed it. Just, there was no way that was coming out. Oh my goodness, that jerk bait looks small in his mouth. Oh my goodness, guys, I put beefed up hooks on this jerk bait and he still bent one of them out. Wow. Luckily, luckily there were more, luckily he swallowed it so much. All right, I'm gonna try to weigh him real quick. All right, the length. Yep. Is it in the fork or? Uh, yes, I think in the fork. Thank you. 
Um, oh, he's not big enough. He's 39, <laughs> and then he's like 42 inches. Oh my gosh, 42 inches long. This may be one where we just don't wait. Yeah, you just kind of estimate him a little bit. When I drop him on it, like 30, uh, I'm, that's all I'm going to do. 32 it said. Oh my word, and that was with you supporting That was so. me with supporting just a little bit. So let's just say like 33 Oh three my word. Pounds. Yeah, see, while he's still lively. Guys, we're going to keep this fish. We're going to keep my personal best striper here today. So if we're going to get him in the water again. Oh, wait, we need some pictures. Yep. All right, guys. Back in the water with this big dude. Oh. Whoa. Oh, he's livelier than I thought. It's nice and uh, chilly out. So. It is chilly. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Like a little shark. I'm going to let him breathe for a second. Lots of oxygen over the lungs. Or the lungs. Over the gills. There you go, boy. Until he kicks off, I'm just going to sit here with him. Oh, 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 there, there's life. Ow, he just bit my finger. Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Are you good? Are you good, buddy? There he goes. Okay, I thought he was going to be dead. He was acting like it. He bit my finger. My finger's bleeding. He bit it so hard. Whoa. Whoa, guys. Pops, that was, that was exactly, guys, that's why we fished out here for hours to try to run into one of those. Real nice job on, on just grabbing him. Thank you. I was so worried. That that was was then I realized how he was hooked because he just, he just oh, yeah. inhaled that jerk bait. Yeah. He wasn't getting away. Even with, even with bent out hooks, that's the, the little jerk bait that got him. Look, it has teeth marks on it, has little scrapes. That's a brand new jerk bait. That's the first one it's ever caught. Wow. <laughs> Got one, got one. Whoa, 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 just smoked it. Just smoked it. Whoa, this is another big one. This is another big one. Another big one, guys. Oh, oh okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I've got the troll motor this time. You reel those ones in. Whoa. Oh, it's, it feels like it's on the outside of his face, the way it's fighting. Oh, he just ran toward me. Oh, oh. It's like I can I can just tell guys when you when you have a big jerk bait like this, it um the bait a lot of times it gets on the outside of their face. Can I get rid of that? Probably this doesn't feel as as giant, but you never know. Since it's winter, guys, they're not fighting as hard, so it is kind of hard to tell. This is fighting. Oh, it's a it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Oh, we've got food tonight, then, don't we? Yeah. Yeah! Oh, yes! All right! Look at that plump dude! Nice! Thank you, Pops, for netting. Look at that fat little hybrid! Sweet! <laughs> That's the biggest hybrid I've ever caught. I've only caught a little baby hybrid. I've caught two personal bests in one day. Wow. Sure enough, guys, look, the hook is right on the outside of his lip there. I thought it felt like that. This is another uh, jerk bait, guys, where I plumped up the, I took the factory hooks off and put beefier ones on. <clears throat> Look how fat that guy is. Has a football. Whoa. I'm gonna throw it out though, right? Mm-hmm. Show me that. Okay. Watch monster. Eight point seven or so. He's starting to wiggle. He's gonna wiggle I'd off. Say eight and three quarters. Yeah, eight and three quarters. Sweet. That is my per two personal bests in one day. <laughs> oh, pops right there, right in front of us, guys. Oh, look at that. I'm right in the middle. I'm right in the middle. I'm right in the middle. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, it's a big one. A big one. Big one. Another big one. Oh, guys, it's pandemonium before the. Oh, he's trying to get in those trees. I gotta keep him out of those trees. Oh, he's swimming right for the trees. You go after him? No, you don't. Oh, he's going right for the trees. I'm trying to slow him down. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, get out of there. No. It's a bottle. 
Oh my gosh, he's like he, he he's going right for the trees. He's determined to make it, guys. He's headed. He knows where. To, he knows what to do. He knows exactly what to do. All right, pops. I actually want you to go the opposite way because if he gets in those trees, it's game over. Guys, he's pulling our whole 22 foot bow. Right, here we go. Look at him. He said it's straight for him. Get out of there. No. No. Is that far enough or you want me to keep going? No, that's good. That's good. You want me to go ahead and start right? Um, yes. If you could. Look out, look out, look where he is. You see him right there? Yeah. He's almost in the trees. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. I think I've got him. He's coming away now. He's turned, I think. Oh my gosh, AC, this is another big one. Yeah. Oh, there he is, there he is. Guys, you see this? Oh my gosh. Oh, he is. He's hooked under that chin. Can you grab him, Bob? Can you grab him? Yeah, just don't want to get hooked in the face. Can you grab him in the mouth? Can you? This is a fat one. Here, let me. Can you just? There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Look at that! Oh, Another wow. beast! Oh my heavens, Asa. This is nuts. This is nuts. Aren't oh, you glad we Lord. came out here to fish? Ooh, oh. Good job. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, guys. I mean, another... This guy is... I, I think it's a little smaller. Yeah. And the other one, but this is in the 20s. Oh yeah, it's in the 20s. <laughs> when they get this big, they get so thick. Their skin is thick, their yeah. scales are big. There we go. Wow, look at this. Beast. Another beast. Yes. Oh my word. Good grief, guys. Three in one day. I think we need to weigh this one up and get him back in the water. Yes. Yes. 30, about 35 inches. Wow, Asa. Oh, I bet he's 22 pounds. What do you think? Twenty-one, a little over 21 pounds. Wow. Oh, all right. There we go. Let's get him in the water, <laughs> Let's guys. Get him in the water. We don't. Uh, we just don't want to keep the giants. We just don't want to keep the giants. Oh, that's a beautiful giant. Oh, Whew, he's tuckered out. You gotta let him. Uh, Breathe for a minute before they take off. There you go, big fella. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's got some life, man. That water is cold. Him. There he goes. What a battle, too. Guys, you see all those trees there? Those trees go down at the cliff, and the trees are down there. And he knew, got to go straight for the trees to try to get away. These fish know what's up when it comes to that. Wow, one of the best days of fishing oh, for, for striper and hybrid for yeah. this year. One of the best days of fishing, though, I say overall for me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Just, oh man, I deserve a Pepsi. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna head home. It's starting to get cold now, it's cooling way down. But there's a lesson here, ladies and gentlemen don't be so quick to leave your lake when the cold front or the storm hits, unless there's lightning, you know, leave if there's lightning. But there's a storm coming. If you can weather it out for the first hour of the storm, you might have, you know, one of your best days of fishing of the whole year. So keep that in mind. You might be leaving the lake. Think of that, leaving the lake at the best time. So there's the lesson. I know I've learned that. Keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.